Hello friends, welcome to ANSI's Artistry. I'm so glad you could tune into today's video. For today's painting, I have a canvas here size 16 by 20 inches. The vision for this project is the recent storms that are happening. So I got inspired by the storm pictures on the news channel and I thought maybe I could create that using Dutch for blowout. So I have all my paints here mixed in the same Dutch pour ratios. I'm going to pour them in circles and blow them out, kind of make it a little bit spiral. So I have all these lines. I'm not sure if it's going to be useful, but it kind of gives me an idea how I need to move my hair dryer when I'm trying to blow out the paints. For the colors itself, I'm going safe with uh, shades of blues and a little bit of purple and violet in there. If needed, I'll end with the black on the edges. So that's the vision for this painting. Um, no base for this painting, so I'm going to start layering these paints. It might take a while, so I list all these colors in the description below if you want to do a similar painting with similar colors. Um, so let's get this one started. All right, I have all my colors in now. Let's pop all these air bubbles. Let's hope that these paints are enough and let's start blowing it out. So usually when I've tried these kind of blowouts, what I do is I just make like, make try to make it look like a flower. This time I want to make it look like a spiral. So my blowout should start from the center and then just go, you know, in a circular fashion. So let's see. All right, first look at it. Nice colors on the edges, but in the center, I feel like I should have used two colors. I don't know which one it is. It could be the turquoise blue from Amsterdam or turquoise blue um, by Artist Loft. One of them took over. So I think it's the Amsterdam one. So I'm trying to see what I can do. Ah, this blog is like really nice. Or should I just leave it? Let me put this one more time and see. Oh no. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do it.
kind of tried to do it, but I guess still there's a lot of turquoise in the center, but it looks much better than how it was before. At least I think that way. Uh, next time if I'm going to try, I'm going to try less of the turquoise in the middle. Make it like more like blue and purple. I'm going to try and skip the lighter shade of the blue in there. All right. Time to fix all my edges, but otherwise the blowout looks good. I'm going to come back in and fill the center with black. Make it look like the eye of the storm. But apart from that, I just have to fix my edges and that's it. It was a quick video, right? At least I hope after editing most of the parts, it's going to be a short video. All right, I'm going to fix my edges and then I'll bring you down for a close-up. All right, here is the close-up. The storm, the eye of the storm right in the center. Nice blending of the colors, light blue in the center to deeper blue in the middle and the purple violet shades on the edges of these canvas. Looks beautiful. The purple and violet are going to dry darker. So it's going to be interesting to see how the light color in the center will pop. It does look like a storm. It's different from the usual blooms that I do. So this is how the painting looks after the second attempt. So I showed you how my first attempt turned out. Um, it did have a little bit of spiral, uh, but the painting as a whole didn't look like a storm. It definitely didn't look like a bloom, like a flower blowout, but it was kind of missing something. So I almost went ahead and scraped it, but just before scraping, I was like, let me just pour more paint on it. Try it one more time. So this time I pulled the deeper blue towards the center a little bit more and that gave me the spiral effect. I wish I had it on video, but I didn't turn on the video. I didn't think it would turn out good, but it did. So I thought I'll just show you how it turned out. The deeper blue is going to give a pretty good contrast towards the center. So I like it this one. To me, this looks like a storm. So I'm gonna keep this. So there it is. If you liked how this video has turned out, please do hit that thumbs up button and please subscribe to my art channel. Thank you for being here. Stay safe and I hope to see you in my next video. Until then, take care. Bye. Happy pouring.